guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that button, hit the notification bell so you guys know when I'm creating new content and become a part of the Food Ride Tribe. Hi, everybody. What's up, y'all? Guess what we got today? Today, the food vibe is shrimpies and green mussels. And then I got a couple of eggs here too. So I'm really excited because one, I have never made these green lip mussels. And actually, they're really hard to find. Well, I thought they were really hard to find. But I guess all I had to do, and I got, I've got some lemons and limes. I don't normally cut limes, but I have it in the fridge. And I said, you know what? We're going to try and then I got some more of my Thai seafood sauce. If you guys want to watch my last video, which was sushi, I tried it with that. But I do want to try it with actual seafood. So here we are. I don't have my Chelsea cut today, but I got a tall glass of raspberry lemonade. I'm excited. Oh, it's so good, honey. All right. Let's get into this, y'all, because I'm excited. So, look at that. They're huge. We're gonna get, I got a little bit of like, I wanna see if I can show y'all. Down here a little bit, see that sauce? Down there, it's like a Cajun, it's like a Cajun sauce. Sorry y'all, I messed up my view, I had to fix it. So yeah, just some garlic and onions and butter and seasonings and some Worcestershire sauce and a little, a little lemon hanging back here. So I'm excited. Oh, you know what I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna get a spoon, but. I think we'll be okay. And they're good. They're so good. <laughs> mm. I bought the bigger shrimp this time. I actually got them from Walmart. I don't normally get them from there. But I decided I'd never bought in seafood from there. It was in their frozen section. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try it anyway. I know what I need to do for y'all. I'm going to knock down this mountain. I'm knocking it down. I'm knocking down the mountain, y'all. It looked pretty, huh, for a minute. <laughs> but this way you guys can see me dipping it in the sauce there. There we go. Let's just do this for y'all. Y'all are my favorite. Anyway, so these mussels I got at my, look at the size of that. Yeah, baby. So good. Oh my goodness. I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> Where I got this seafood sauce, I got it at um, a market, an Asian market in town. And y'all, it's a big Asian market. They have so much stuff. It's amazing. And so me so i went in there just to look to kind of see actually i got my got the sauce there and then i saw that they had the green new zealand green mussels mm. now on the black mussels i like to eat that little thing so i'm gonna try it if i can get another I think I'll skip it. A pretty chewy on the big one because they're big. I got lime. Oh, that tastes good. So, yeah, I found them at my local Asian market. Super excited. We're a good deal too. So I was like, okay, cool. Because at the regular grocery stores in my area, they don't have the green ones. So, oop. Let's get this one in one bite. That's the one. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm doing fabulous. I cannot complain, not one bit. Today, though, here in Colorado... Y'all, it is so windy outside. Like 100 mile per hour winds. People are out of power because they 
Ooh, that's good stuff. But some people are out of power. Trees, I mean, big, huge pine trees are uprooted. They've landed on people's houses. Um, people are out of power because it's of the wind and the trees knocking over power lines. So it's been a crazy day. So I have been in the house all day because I'm like, you got to think I'm crazy as hell. I think I'm going to go out there running around. I'm going out there for Now, if I needed to go, of course. But y'all, I'm not going. <laughs> okay, here is my Thai seafood sauce so we're gonna try it it does have a little bit of a kick my sauce isn't really that spicy but this this stuff has a kick to it yeah that's good Ooh, that kick we're gonna try it with a muscle how about that go ahead and just put a little dab on there a little goes a long way i'm telling y'all but with the shrimp, that's good. Mmm. It's good with the mussels, too. You know what I did? Um, Miss Allison, she recommended this. She recommended, she recommended the cham sauce, cham sauce. But this is similar, too. So I tried it with sushi because I was really eager to try it. And I didn't particularly like it with sushi, but I like it with seafood. And I appreciate the recommendation because y'all know this sauce down here got all the butter, cholesterol, you know, <laughs> all the stuff that ain't good for you, but it's good for your soul. So it's really nice to know that now I have another sauce I can have with seafood that's not so bad for you. So that's exciting. Oh, yeah. And I think... Mm, why can't I think of her name? She's an ASMR YouTuber. It'll come to me. Oh, Sass. Sass ASMR. She makes a homemade Thai... Well, I don't know if it's Thai, but it's like a chili seafood sauce. Ooh, got me sweaty a little bit, y'all. We're a little sweaty. So... Um, I think this is similar, but she makes a homemade and it's everything that you make homemade is better because it's fresh. Now, I know what I'm going to do here because I want, okay, I dip my egg. I don't really make eggs with my seafood boils, but today, mm, I want to scoop this sauce on here. There we go. I said, I needed a spoon. You don't need a spoon when you got these big old muscles here. Put onion on it. This is the way to eat eggs, y'all. Mmm. I really have to be in the mood for eggs. You know what I'm saying? Look at that bite. Mmm, that's the stuff right there. So what's going on with everybody? I'm back. I know it's been a while. I posted a video the other day, but when I told you I'm 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 coming back, like I'm back, y'all. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go ahead and get another muscle. Ooh, you know what I'm going? This one has a bunch of garlic on it. So since it has a bunch of garlic, we're gonna do that. Oh, let's try it with lime. Do you guys use lime with your seafood? I know my friend Nita does. All right, we got some lime juice on there. Mmm. That's good too. Okay. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. Look at this guy. Yeah. So, you guys, it's funny the other day, right? I see that so many people are, like, fans of, like, Christmas movies. Christmas cheer is here. Which I have the Christmas cheer, but I'm actually not particularly a big, huge fan of Christmas movies. Now, there's a couple that I like. There is. There's a couple Christmas movies that I like. 
It tastes good together. I like it. I dig it. I dig it, dig it. But there are a couple Christmas movies I do like. So, there's um, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That movie is freaking hilarious. I like Christmas with the Cranks and A Christmas Story. And I think other than that, Bella Girl, sit down. She's sitting right here acting like she's going to get some of what I got. And I'm like, mm. Now, I did read up. Shrimp is, you can give your dog shrimp. Shrimp's okay for dogs. Just don't give them a lot. I guess it's high in cholesterol for them. But I don't know about mussels. But this has a bunch of garlic and onions and stuff on it. And Bell girl, you can't have all that, girlfriend. Y'all should see her face. She's so cute. I have a burp coming. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Bell girl. Mm, let's see. We got our sauce on there. They're ugly looking things, aren't they? But they taste good. <laughs> so, there's only a few Christmas movies. Like, All in the Drench, obviously. And, and Elf. But, I don't have like a marathon. And like, watch Christmas movies all day. It's not really my thing. Also, I'm not really a big fan of Christmas music. I know you guys are going to think that I'm the freaking Grinch, right? <laughs> it's just... Now, like, the week coming after Christmas and Christmas Day and stuff, like, listening to Christmas music, obviously, obviously like, that shit's cool. I, I could do that, but I don't want to hear it. Every single store you go into is Christmas music. Everywhere you go, it's just, it's a little overload. It's a little overload for me, your girl. It's a little too much. Mmm. Mm. Mm, there's shelves somewhere in there. I'm just gonna swallow it. <laughs> Down the hatch, it's gone. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, I'll just swallow it. So yeah, what what kind of Christmas movies do you guys like? Hmm. Now, if you have one that's like. Your favorite, oh, you know what? I do like Bad Santa. I'm a potty mouth and I like, you know, dark humor, vulgarity. Like, I just, I, I it's just kind of it's my personality. I dig it. I like it. Don't judge me. <laughs> and so, Bad Santa is actually really freaking hilarious. But if you guys have a Christmas movie that you think I should watch, you'd be like, you know what? You'll really, really like it if you watch it. I'll check it out. I sure will. I trust your guys' judgment. So, don't let me down. Don't recommend it now if you don't think I'm going to like it. Because I'm not going to be happy with you. <laughs> hmm. But you know what song is stuck in my head right now? <sighs> Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas. <clears throat> I heard she makes a million dollars every year. That song comes out like during Christmas time. Just just by that song playing every year on the radio, just a million dollars, easy. This lemonade, I do have to let you guys know, it is simply lemonade and it is the light version. It's not a diet, I don't think they have a diet, it's a light version. So there's very, very little sugar. Bell girl, she's, <laughs> excuse her, she farted. You know what, go lay down, go on, go lay down. I'm <laughs> debating if I should edit this out, but I'm like, you know what? I can't edit that out. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, this Simply Lemonade, the light version, is really good. It doesn't have a bunch of weird crap in it. It doesn't have aspartame in it. I believe it's just distilled water, lemon juice, and stevia leaf extract, I believe. Check it out, y'all. It is full flavored. It tastes so good. I think it's just as good as the other one, as the one that has all the sugar in it. So, check it out, y'all. It's getting dark, but thankfully I have my ring light on. It gets dark so freaking early. I hate it. I think it's like 
It gets dark at like 4.30, which is crazy, man. So, I told you I'm doing like the, sh the personal shopping and delivery service. And so, which I really, really enjoy. But I only deliver during the day. I don't deliver at night because you never know. I'm not trying to get snatched up or robbed or some weird shit. Although that can happen during the day too. But I don't drive at night. So when it gets dark so early. I can't drive as long as I would want to. But that's okay. Let's make it work. There she is. She made an appearance. You wanted to be in the camera, huh? She's going to be a big movie star. I'm Belle Girl. Are you going to be a movie star? She's so cute, guys. I'm obsessed with her. She's my dog child. Got stuck. <laughs> I got a little bit stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a crab video. Maybe I'll do a crab video that's just all crab for you guys. Cause I haven't. Well, I had crab. I went to the juicy seafood like probably like a week ago with my friend. And y'all, it was good. So good. I love that place. I love it. But seafood has gone up. I mean, everything's gone up. But seafood's definitely, you can tell a difference. Like, snow crab legs at my grocery store. Typically, they're... I think when they're not on sale, they're $18.99 a pound. And when they used to go on sale, they'd be $12.99 a pound. Well, now, I think they're like $28.99 a pound now. And then on sale, they're like $19.99 for like the little snow crabs. I'm like, you guys, that's crazy to me. Eggs. Mmm. You guys, we got New Year's coming up too. I just can't believe this year is almost over. Oh, I do want to ask you guys. 2021. We're in 2021. <laughs> Got what year it was. We're in 2021, Jilsey. Tell me something really good that happened to you this year. Whether it was something unexpected. Whether it was a goal that you had set out to accomplish and you accomplished it. Or, you know, just tell me something that is really good that happened to you. Kind of like a little reflection. A 2021 reflection. And if you guys don't do this, you should be doing it every year. Because even though we have rough years. There's also a lot of really good things that can happen to you. And, and so, you know, and looking for the silver lining in the, in the, in the dark is the way to, I keep hitting my chin. I'm like a child. <laughs> now for me, my goals, my, my good thing for 2021, 2021 is I wanted to start my YouTube channel. And I feel great that I did. That was one of my, that was like my goal. Just start it. I didn't know how I was going to do edit it. I didn't think, I didn't know if I was going to be really, if I was going to like it. If I was going to be really consistent and like keep posting, you know, or randomly and like end up a millionaire one day, you know. <laughs> so, but I was, I was um, hesitant to start. These things are going to be tough to eat. I don't want to come out of there. I 
And so that was one of my goals was to start my YouTube channel. And I did that. That's one thing that I'm proud of. It was really good for me. And I'm happy that I did it. So you guys, please share with me. I want to hear about good things. Like I said, I know bad things happen too, unfortunately. But that's okay. Because guess what? You could always turn it around. Excuse me. These muscles are huge. These shrimp are huge. It's filling me up. I'm surprised. I do want to do another muscle and another Thai chili sauce. Mm -hmm. That's a good combo. That stuff is spicy though. But it makes sense. It's got chilies in it. You know what I'm saying? I think in my last video, I mentioned that I'm part of like this Vegas Facebook group. And then I never finished my thought, which you guys, if you don't know, you're about to find out. I am very forgetful. I try not to be, but guess what? It is what it is. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? You see it? You see it? <laughs> That's the Cowboys, baby. They're actually doing really well. Okay, so let me try to focus again. So my what I was saying is I'm part of this Vegas Facebook group, and they post pictures and memes and videos about food and, you know, um, attractions and shows and just everything. And people, they talk shit. Like, it's, it's, fu it's a fun group to be a part of. But I think I'm going to have to hop off of it because it's giving me FOMO so bad. I would like, every time I open that page, I'm like, I want to be in Vegas. So I'm like, mm, it's making me want to go, y'all. Making me want to go down to Vegas. <sighs> I felt the urge to do that. <laughs> so... But I want to travel next year. I did really... Oh, that was another big thing um, this year. What I was really excited about is when I went to Boston. My best friend from when we were like literally... We became best friends and... When we were 12, 7th grade, I became best friends. And we hadn't spent a birthday either, neither her nor mine, together... In like probably eight or nine years. So that's why I went to Boston because my best friend lives there. And so I got to spend her birthday with her. That was like a really big thing for me. Because I've been so long. I'm running out of lemonade. Y'all make me sad, but that's okay because I'm getting full. So you guys, I had, I don't know the East Coast very well. I went to Virginia one time when I was younger. It was probably, eh, it was probably 15, 16. And then went to Boston. So that's the only places I've been on the East Coast. I do want to go to New York City. I don't think I could ever live in New York City because I'd have sensory overload. There'd be so many people and so many lights and so much to do and see that I think I could only handle it for like a couple of days. But I do want to go there. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to admit it here. I love the Jersey Shore. So, the show, anyway. So, I would like to actually go visit Jersey Shore. I think that would be a good time. I think it would be a great time. So, I still got a lot of places to go and visit. But, Oh, that was a big one. I think I'm going to have like one more shrimp, y'all, and I'm going to be done. This stuff is filling me up. Now, this is, I should know the answer to this, but I don't. But do you guys know the difference between a prawn and a shrimp? Is a prawn 
just a larger shrimp or is it like i don't know please somebody please tell me because i don't know and i'm still singing all i will for christmas you baby <laughs> You guys, I'm almost liking this lighting better now. Is that how this ring light works? Like it's, this is supposed to be the prime, like the only light in the room. You guys let me know. Sun's not all the way down yet, but it's, it's gone down. It's sun, it's setting right now. So, how's this lighting compared to the natural light and the ring light, or just the ring light? Hmm. Let us just know. I appreciate the feedback. That's why I need you. I need you guys to help me out with this stuff. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I sure don't. I don't have no fancy production, you know. Not yet. You know, one day. One day. <laughs> I am done. Let me show you guys what I got left in here. Can you see it? So there's still a whole bunch left. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't do like crab or anything with it. Because ugh, I wouldn't have ate like nothing. That's good to know though. I never had it before. So why well, never had made them at home. So it's good to know that they fill you up. So ooh, that means I get leftovers. I don't think my mom or dad will eat any of that. Well, the shrimpies maybe. Anyways. All right, you guys, as always, it's amazing to see y'all. You know you guys can come eat with me anytime, day or night. And I will see you guys soon. Belle, you want to say bye? Come here. Say, say, say bye. Belle, come. You say bye. She wants to say bye. She's like, no, mom, I want treats. All right, love you guys. Bye.